This is going to be a quick video to show you how to set up your TalkTalk Talk business guest Wi-Fi. You can do this from any device that's connected to your TalkTalk Talk router with a cable or over Wi-Fi. You just need to do it from a browser. So in this case, I'm doing it on a laptop. So here's the browser. Make sure that you go into the address bar and not the search bar for this part. So we want to be typing in the address of the TalkTalk Talk router, which is 192.168.1.1. That should get you to this login page. Now on this page, you need to be typing in your router username. By default, that will be set to admin. And the router password that you need here is on the label on the back of your router the easiest thing to do is to go and take a picture of that and bring it next to where you're working now that router password is not the wi-fi password it is a separate password to get into the router itself and is only printed on the back of the router so i'm just looking at my photo and typing it in there that should get me in There we go. So now we're in the page uh, that controls all of your router settings. In this case, we want to be setting up guest Wi-Fi, as I've said. So we scroll down a bit and here you can see that you've got your 2.4 Wi-Fi and your 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. 2.4 goes further than 5, so we'll set the guest Wi-Fi up on the 2.4 channel. So we're going to click on this cog here for guest Wi-Fi in this 2.4 wi-fi channel box okay so that will get you to this page so you can see here that the status is down that's because guest wi-fi by default will be turned off so we want to get that turned on so let's go into this gray box here turn that on now we need to choose a name for your Wi-Fi. So all this is done in the default box is to take whatever network name you've already um, got up and running and then just added guest on the end. So that's not very good. Let's have something that's going to be far easier for your guests to understand. So in here, the best thing that you could do or the recommended thing to do would be to type in your business name. You don't need to worry about channel selection. You don't need to worry about changing security. You do need to choose a password and confirm the password. Mine's got something in here that I've used before and it's attempting to remember it. Yours may not have these dots. So I'm just gonna type in a fresh password there so I know where I am and then we just need to click on apply so changing the values in this page may cause a loss of connectivity for Wi-Fi users WPS will be enabled so that's simply a warning that your router is going to be saving those settings and there might just be a temporary drop so let's click continue And there we go, data successfully saved message there. And we'll just give it a few seconds and the status of this 2.4 guest Wi-Fi will move to up, which means it's now up and running with that name that we selected. For my example, business name, the security's turned on. We've got that password in that we chose. So there we go, that's your guest Wi-Fi up and running. What I do fully recommend that you do is to follow the instructions that we would have emailed you to make a nice QR code to be able to share your guest Wi-Fi details in the most effective way. Once you've made that QR code and printed it out and displayed it, all your guests would need to do would be to show their smartphone camera app to that QR code, click on a quick message on the screen, and that will put them onto that guest Wi-Fi without them needing to do any typing. So that's just such a user-friendly way to be able to share that guest Wi-Fi. So there we go, that is all you need to know.
please enjoy your guest Wi-Fi. <laughs>